get this proportion valve because for some reason, bro, is uh, leaking. So either I have to rebuild it, which means getting O-rings and rebuilding it from the inside out and testing it that way. Oh man, that Transam is kind of badass over there. Um, there's that option, or the other option is to try and source out another proportion valve. The shit is with that. I have not seen another Integra in the junkyard in over a month or two, or since the last time I posted the last video. So I did my research, I was pissed off because there was nothing. Like, I couldn't even get a Jags or like a Willwood adjustable one. It just, dude, I, I searched everywhere for replacements, couldn't find anything, and just long and behold, I got on a website where um, it showed that the part was discontinued. I couldn't get it at any dealership anywhere really. And people that were sending it online that had it, had it for like $180. I wasn't gonna pay that much when I paid for something that was originally $12 that I got in the junkyard. I try and look at the part number to see if maybe I can get that. And I see under it, it says replaced by, and then it has another part number. Guess what? That part number ended up being for a Prelude and that Prelude is from, six, from 86 to 91. So, two things. It expanded the range of cars that I can now look at during the junkyard because from now, I mean, up until now, I was just looking at Integros from 86 to 89. Sure enough, I look at it this morning when I figured it out and there was one about, what, 20 miles away from where I'm at and I said, you know what, I'm tired of having to refill my brakes and my brakes kind of not working like they should, uh, like when I first did the swap. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get a new one. I was gonna be able to do the same thing uh, and distribute the brake fluid equally to both the front and the rear. So I'm gonna go hop on that, get that proportion valve, and then try and install that on my car as soon as possible so I can get this car back and running on its like maximum potential and without any issues. Um, and then after that, change the other control arm, but that's, you know, for further things. But I'm almost to the junkyard, so let's go and find this proportion valve. You guys have already seen me take out this proportion valve, so I'm just gonna go get it, try and get the hell out, and see if we can get home in time to watch some more Game of Thrones. Man, let's go get this thing. You feel me? Alright, so I don't really know what this thing, what this thing is, but we're just gonna walk on it. Santos concert. Oh yeah, it's pretty lost your car. All right, pump for the inspection. This shit is exactly the same. It looks to be, you know, intact. It doesn't seem to be leaking, anything major. So, yeah, fuck it. I think I'm gonna take this one and see if that fixes my problem. So eventually, I got these top ones loosened. I actually got most of them loosened except for the bottom left one just because I don't have really the clearance to get a vice grip in there. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take off these top ones and then just move these brake lines. don't really care if I bend them. It's the beauty of being at a junkyard. Yeah, we need brother. Tomorrow. Boom. We back here. We on full send mode. We're going to go and try and do as much as we can to this motherfucker right here. First order business. Not really fitting the rims anymore. Super heavy. They're 17s. Oh my god. That's what I have to deal with every fucking day. Those are my children. Rims too heavy. I feel like the steering is just too it's not nimble enough. Gonna go back to the stock rims. Have some Ankies in the back, also 14s, but these are 14 stock. Keep it clean. I think it'd be cool to see how it looks on with the rear calipers. 
Stop eating leaves. Like I said, I want to see how it looks with the calipers and all that bullshit on there. Uh, and after, I'm going to see if I can change this proportion about it because like I said, it is leaking. I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Now this proportion valve, let's see if I can find the stamp. Oh, okay, there it is, I think. Yeah, so you can probably see it right there. Uh, this is a 3030 uh, proportion valve. At first I thought 4040 and 3030 meant like the difference between um, how much pressure is distributed throughout the rear and the front, but apparently it's not. Apparently it's just the diameter in the inside. I'm gonna take this one out and see if there's actually a difference. The only difference I do know is you have to switch out the proportion valve. So the one I got this one off right here, the one that's leaking, this one's off an Integra, and this one right here is off a of Prelude. Both Integra and Preludes have the rear disc brakes, so this should work. So I'm gonna try this on, and I've read on the forums that it works exactly the same, if not better. So let's see if this is actually a viable swap on this piece of shit. But first, I wanna get these bad ones off. But these, never done this before, but I wanna see if I can snap my fingers and still be in frame in the exact same spot and have them switch. Let's try this out. Uh, you know, I gotta get the walk, hey, the walkway. There's a cop, bro. Somewhere around here. Somewhere around here. Well, everyone's a cop. It's not good. You got an oil catch can? Yeah. Puro Vitek. The K2. Oh, the K2 fucking. Yeah, it's a filter. Well, that, that's supposed to go connected to here. I thought I wanted to do shower that shit too. To my shit. But there's no shit. So I don't have to fucking put the hose. Oh, yeah. Good dive time. Yeah. <laughs> well, I was telling you, I'm like, this is cool. Catch your fucking race, dog. With that? I just put some pussy in the, the stock rim, so. Man. <laughs> that's 20 horsepower, man. Oh, <laughs> All right, so we got these rims back on. For sure, not gonna rub anymore because I've been rubbing up in here. And you can see already, it's already fucked this shit up. Not a concern because look at how close this shit is to this fucking wheel. And I feel like it's gonna hit, but uh, what are you gonna do? I didn't have enough time to take out this proportion valve, but that's gonna be the first thing we do in the morning and have enough light. That should be a quick thing. I should do it right now, but I want to also order a filter for the head so we can take this entire thing out, relocate the battery, put this bad boy in. I'm going to take the car out right now, see how it runs, see if the rims are complying with all this bullshit before I even go out and do a long haul trip like last time and fucking lose my brakes. Let's go ride this shit. I'm excited to see that the steering is going to improve because I'm no longer gonna have it rubbing into the fucking like wheel well. And also I'm gonna love the fact that I'm gonna be able to go bumps and it's not gonna scrape as badly. But I am afraid that these brakes are gonna fuck this entire thing up. So let's, uh, let's pray and let's see if it works. And just wanna mention the reason why I'm so hesitant or afraid that it's gonna rub is because in the forums, it said that 13 inch rims are basically the lowest you can run and then i'm running 14s a little wary but this is why we gotta test and we gotta risk it to get the biscuit and i love biscuits oh man that was almost disastrous i almost forgot to tighten up these lug nuts and i was already on my way thank you allah Today wasn't most successful day, but we did get testing and have a better turning radius, can stop better, can maneuver better, accelerate better, more better. 
like Coach Coach used to say, rest in peace. But that's gonna be it for today. So we will catch you, or I will. Yeah, I always say we, but you know what I mean, guys. Uh, let's keep up with this momentum tomorrow and get this proportion valve uh, changed out. Hopefully get the intake put in. And if God lets us, by the end of the weekend, we'll have these coilovers on tune, we'll drop the entire car. But fingers crossed. So see you guys tomorrow. It is very much not the next day. It's more like the next week, you can tell, because I'm looking a little different here. But we're the same here. We got a little Mopar here. We go over here, gonna jump in our 3500 Ram AV8 with the magazine in it. Oh, yeah, we got the coming triple diesel 67. Oh, yeah. Mopar all the way, baby. Ram, Ram, brother. Oh, man. Just got back home from work. It's about 6 30. And I think this is gonna be the only time I really have this week to get anything done. So we're gonna do something. Jump right into it. Yo, I've really been digging this fucking stock rims though. I don't know. It already kind of looks better. I don't know. So the biggest thing for sure is that this thing has been leaking and we got to fucking change it. We got one right over here. So all I got to do real quick is get all of these lines out with, um, I don't really care right now, with just something. Take this one out bleed the entire brakes and we should be good to go I just love how i'm about to start recording and changing it i'm actually four bolts already into it and i can't even can't even finish because i'm always came back from costco and you know i had to ask for the chicken bake yeah fuck you too just enjoy this real quick put this away yeah I'm gonna put it away so I can cover this rust hmm. alright see this shit leaking so oh my god look at these guys Concha Cheekies <laughs> hey mama oh I haven't spotted That's, yeah, I'm in the future not gonna record that. That's some horrible news. We just lost one. I salute you. All of your service. D Walt, I will be contacting you because I want to know exactly why my thing isn't working. Oh, yeah, puro pinche racer pa acá. All right, I almost got this shit off. Hopefully this fixes my problem because I've probably gone through like two quarts of brake fluid and it's really bad of me. Very irresponsible. Let's get this shit off. I mean, you can already see where this shit was leaking. It was like leaking from there. Bro, this shit's disgusting. That's why you don't buy stuff at the fucking junkyard. Later. I'll be laughing if this shit actually is the one that works. So this one is for a, well I got this off a of 87 Prelude SI. This one's off the Integra, the 89 Integra that I got it. So after looking at it, they, I mean, I don't know. What, what do you guys think in the comments? Do these look exactly the same? This one apparently has stamped 3030 on the side. This one has 4040. Originally on all the forums it said, 4040 is, you know, means more fluid. I'm curious to see if I were to open these up, if that would really be the case, but I really doubt it. Um, but good thing is that these all match up. Everything looks exactly the same. Hopefully this one doesn't leak. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure just you have to make sure that you get one that's just has rear calipers. The Prelude SI has rear calipers as well as Integra, so you should be good. I had this whole funny conversation with my dad. Asking him what kind of spray paint he had because I wanted to paint these and he started giving me this whole lecture about how I shouldn't be a hot boy and I should just make sure it fucking works first and I'll tell you what, for sure have that problem. Getting these bolts worked in with my hands, getting them in place so I can have some type of um, mounting point so I can tighten all this stuff. I'm just going to feed this brake line through just because it's... Oh man, I think we're gonna have to go do this. Where the hell is the hole? Oh man, I feel like a fucking middle schooler again. I'm 
find no goddamn hole. I already went ahead and kind of fit all these hard brake lines in. And now it's just a matter of squeezing these in, making sure no, no leak. Shit better not leak. Oh man, my back is fucking shot. Managed to get everything connected back up just in time before it gets dark. <sighs> See you next steps. I think I gotta break. I think I gotta bleed these brakes. Yep, sure enough. I ain't even got no fluid up in this bitch. Running out of brake fluid. Came to the one place I know best. All right, so I'm recording this video because I did not have an outro. So I went to AutoZone, got my brake fluid and bled my brakes. Basically that's what happened, but it was so dark. Just didn't feel like setting up any lights and stuff, but the process is fairly simple. All you have to do is pump your brakes uh, while you open up your valve and shut it as soon as uh, you don't see any more air bubbles come out and then you have a consistent flow. Uh, if you wanna look for a video that I, rec I would recommend watching to kind of do it the right way, look at Chris Fix. I will, I will always recommend Chris Fix. Chris Fix is the G. He knows how to do things right. Uh, and the, like I said, the video quality is great, sound quality is great. But now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna end this video here. Just let you guys know that there will be another video uh, explaining my whole brake swap process, all the building materials, everything, final breakdown costs of everything that I put, and I'll do some actual testing and stuff to see if my setup actually uh, makes a difference. So I really hope you guys like this video. Hope you guys will consider subscribing. Uh, we're putting out a lot more videos now. I have the battery relocation one, intake, uh, a lot of other good stuff, coilovers. So uh, make sure to hit that bell notification so you get notified when that video drops, uh, which should be in the next week. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one. And like always, stay boosted.